Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the studio today. I've got a little toy here, or a little tool, that I'd like to recommend to you guys. This will help make things consistent. And I'm talking about this little Radio Shack sound pressure level meter here. And these guys are, are a great thing to have. And now, I know that some of the iPhones have an application to where you can get the uh, sound pressure meter on that on the iPhone. But I find that these are much better actually and work and they're, they're they work great. And now Radio Shack doesn't make this particular model anymore to my knowledge. I I just looked it up and they don't seem to be in their catalogs anymore. However, there are other places online that do sell the same particular model, and this model seems to get the best reviews, and I even know that uh a lot of seasoned pros recommend using these too. New, they were about 50 or 60 bucks. I'm seeing them new at other places for about $30. And I'm seeing them on eBay for about 10 or 15 bucks. At 10 or $15 for these, that's a steal of a deal. And I most definitely would pick one of these up. But what I like to do when I'm mixing is right where I'm sitting here, I'll just go ahead and point it right at the speakers here and I, that way I can dial up the same volume and mix everything at the same volume or it helps gauge whether I'm starting to creep up and get too loud or whatever but if I want to mix at 85 dB this guy will tell me right off the bat now there's a little manual I won't get into the details of this but you want a, a, a nice C weighting on here is basically what you're looking for so but um if you're starting to get too loud, say up over 100 dB, this will let you know. Now, in a live situation, that may be very useful to point at your stage monitors or point at the drummer or even go out in the front rows of your congregation at your church, for instance. If you're getting complaints that you're too loud, well, you can go out and, and, and this is very easy to use. It You can have somebody that's non-technical go ahead and turn this on and check out what your uh, sound levels really actually are. If they're up around 105 dB, then most likely you probably are too loud as a praise team. If you're down around 90 dB, which is probably where a lot of praise teams try to shoot for in that mid-90s, and if you're hearing that you're still too loud at that volume, now I might suggest that you interpret that comment as something else, that potentially maybe your mix is off, that your mix is too boomy or it's too harsh or too teeny and the person that is commenting doesn't really know how to put that into words correctly they're just saying it's too loud because it's too annoying so when you're getting comments that you're too loud at 95 db or less start looking that maybe your mixes are really off and but i'm getting off on a rabbit trail on that but i think that was a useful tip i like to like i say use it for mixing and then if I really want to know how it sounds good when it's loud, I'll go ahead and crank it up to 104 dB just for a little bit and, and, and just go ahead and enjoy the loud volume. But this way I know I can keep things down constant at around 85 dB. I know right where I'm at when I'm mixing. I keep things consistent. I keep things the same. That's really all I wanted to say about this, but for 15, 20 bucks, you really should have one of these in your toolkit. They're really invaluable. We'll talk to you next video, guys. We'll see you later.